I've been in the coffee business for several yeah. years, and I um, found that I well, when I first started, I didn't drink coffee. Hi, how you doing? I got this job at a at a coffee shop inside Eli Lilly. I met all these people from all over the world, Italy, Germany. You know, I, I listened to them because I didn't know anything. And honestly, my boss, she knew a lot, a little bit about coffee, but just enough to be dangerous. The darker the roast, the better, in her opinion. But she belonged to the SCAA, and she started taking me to a uh, conference. And so I started talking to people yeah. and learning things. And this is, you know, the early 2000s. We went to this training that was in Kentucky, and we ended up almost teaching it. So we're going to these conferences, and I'm meeting people, and this competition started called the National Barista Competition. So I said, I'll compete. It'll be fun. I go to Miami to the Specialty Coffee Association, and uh, I kind of get put in my place because I don't really know what I'm doing, even though I'm, I was probably one of the best baristas in Indianapolis at the time. But I had no, no clue once I competed what it, to what I was doing. I look at my, my score sheet and it says, uh, spe the special drink, it tastes like milk and sugar, it doesn't taste like coffee, we can't find the coffee in it. The next time I go, um, it's in Long Beach. And so I go to this competition and I was so sick. I had bronchitis, and I'm there, and I have pictures of this one. So, but I met a lot of great people, yeah. and, and I learned that I didn't know very much. And so I started researching stuff. I just gleaned everything I could. Towards the end of my employment there, my boss said, I think that you should judge a barista competition. And I looked at her and I said, are you crazy? I'll have to drink straight espresso. I don't like straight espresso. I drink it with a lot of sugar and whipped cream on it. She's like, no, you, you can do it. You can do it. So I signed up to judge, and then I ran all over town buying espresso everywhere and forcing myself to drink it. And most of it was horrible, absolutely unpalatable. But I drank it, and I taught myself to drink espresso. So I went and I judged that competition. I did okay, and then um, I judged a couple more competitions. Got hooked. Yeah. Competing and judging were two of the biggest things to help me realize my potential in coffee. And so, here I am. <laughs>